Hey guys, let's do an acrylic pour. Kind of got everything started already. We're gonna use some pouring medium. A few just basic acrylic paints that I bought at Walmart. I did buy new ones just because most of my other ones are really old and kind of clumpy. We're gonna use some silicone oil to try and get some good cells in there. And then we're gonna use this report cover as our pouring base. I'm going to turn that just like that so I can see what I'm doing. I actually have a little bit of paint of each color in my cups already. So let's stir them up. I have just a little over a one-to-one -one ratio. The last time I tried this, I did not put enough pouring medium. So I really felt like it was a little too thick and I didn't really get the movement that I wanted with the actual one-to-one -one ratio. And I'm gonna try not to get too many air bubbles in here. You can kind of see that consistency there. I think that's a little closer what I'm wanting this time. I also didn't put enough of the silicone oil in there to get the cells that I really wanted. I either remembered wrong or the tutorial I watched on how to get the cells was not a good tutorial. I'm not sure which. Probably the former and not the latter. Because I think if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, <laughs> you know my memory is not the best. But once again, there's that consistency there. That's what I'm using this time. The last time I did a pour, I would say the consistency was kind of maybe similar to NyQuil. <laughs> I'm kidding. Maybe not. It might have been a little thicker than that. Not, not super thick, but definitely not this runny. You know what I should have done? I should have poured my silicone oil while I was in here. I was stirring each one, but it is a little harder to control, so I kind of have to be a little bit more cautious on that. The white is a little trickier to tell if you've got it mixed good or not. I'm just going to have to go based on all the other colors that I've done time-wise. And you can see that the black is already mixed up. This is actually from my first go around. It's weird that it hasn't dried out yet. So I just poured a little bit more of the pouring medium in here to um, make it a little runnier. Yeah, it's a little thicker than the others, but that's okay. I don't want the black to take over the design anyways. So what I did on the other attempt at this was poured some of the silicone into this cup, just a mixing, a, a medicine cup. It's really runny, but if you don't get it open far enough, it is not coming out. So I didn't really feel like I could control what was going on. So let's do, I don't know, like four or five drops. literally getting just one drop. I'll, I'll zoom in on the next one of these. I'm just kind of using this as a little paddle one. Ooh, I almost knocked that over. <laughs> Would have been so sad. And one more. So on this black one, since I already have one drop in what was there, I'm just going to do four drops here. That should be good. I'm not going to 
whisk it. Sorry, that was a little off camera. I'm not going to like whisk it like I'm making a cake or anything, but definitely need it mixed in there. One of the videos I watched to kind of get an idea of what products to use, she um, had one set that she whisked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then the same exact everything with very little stirring, like minimal, and they were pretty equal. I just don't want to make a lot of air bubbles because that is something that I, even though I didn't really like go crazy with it, I had a lot of air bubbles on that last pour that I tried. Not sure what I did wrong. Turned out really pretty. I'm still going to use it for something. It's not quite what I was going for. I just flung that. <laughs> oh man, let's go right there. It'll come out later. I probably shouldn't be doing this over the other colors. That's probably not really wise, like at all. After I get this poured and kind of manipulated, I'll show you what I did on my first go around, just so you can get an idea of some variations. And then at the end of this, after it's dried, we'll be able to see how many cells really emerged. So just now, just kind of do your thing. No rhyme or reason, because we're going to manipulate this in just a little bit. Okay, so now let's do a little blue. I do think this runniest, runnier consistency is really going to pay off. I think that's where I went wrong on the other. I don't want a lot of this really just yet. One thing too, after you get done kind of swirling this around on your paper, or you know what I mean, swirling this around period, you can uh, go back through with like a stylus or a toothpick or whatever and kind of manipulate to kind of take care of any spots you might have missed. or any like big chunks of color or whatever that might need to be broken up a little. Let's do just a teensy bit more black. Okay, let's see what this looks like when we start moving it. Yeah, oh my gosh, that flows so much better than the last one. Maybe too much. But if you just pay attention to like where your borders and your edges are, maybe work over a surface that's protected, then that'll be good. I'm getting totally rad vibes out of this. And I don't want to over swirl it and kind of lose any of my definition, so I'm pretty much going to stop right about here. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. If I wanted to, this would be the time where I would take something like, um, like I said, a toothpick, a stylus, your stir stick or whatever, and kind of manipulate. 
But I really like how this looks. So it's not getting touched with anything right now. So what I'm gonna do is move this off to the side. I'm gonna show you the other one I made. I did this one earlier today. This was about a 50-50 mix. So roughly a quarter ounce of paint. I had to think about that for a minute because it's been a while. Roughly a quarter ounce of paint with roughly a quarter, a little less than a quarter ounce of the pouring medium. And just kind of finagled it, manipulated it, all of that stuff. I'm, it only had one drop of the oil. Uh, so I got zero cells out of here. I'm really hoping that some emerge on that other one. We'll find out when it starts to dry a little bit. But uh, once this is dry, you can peel it off. Kind of started tinkering with it earlier. Just like that. I want to wait for this to dry. It's not quite dry because it's only a couple hours old. I did this on a shiny surface because I was like, oh, if, when you peel it off, you want the shine of the other side. Um, no. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't even look like a bad Monet. That is just like bad, period. So I can still find a use for this. I'm not sure why I ended up with all these little divots. That might be where it tried to be cells, but it wasn't enough oil to really do it. I hit it with a heat gun to pop bubbles. No idea. It's still pretty and it'll look good under some, maybe like some cosmic in the epoxy, just to kind of hide some of those flaws. But I'm not mad about this. It's just not what I was going for. But man, this other one, uh -huh. I'm digging this one. Let's see if I can kind of swirl it a little over here to get a little bit bigger piece. Probably gonna regret this. Nope, no regrets. I like it a lot. <laughs> Couldn't find my tissue, my paper towel. All right, so we are going to let this just sit. I'm gonna walk away from this overnight and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. With a little bit of this other stuff that I have going, I am gonna go ahead and make like another paint pour, which I've never done before, so I'm gonna make a huge mess doing it. But I'm really excited because I already bought the stuff to do it since I was already going to have all this out. That might be another video. We'll see. But I'll come back tomorrow in the morning and show you how this looks. So I came out here to show y'all a sneak peek because it's morning and they've been out here for in at least 12 hours, right? Why have I not learned not to touch things? <laughs> Why do I do this? It's so pretty though. All those colors. It's just so nice. <laughs> so needless to say, I messed up what I had going, but I just swirled it around again and just kind of re-smoothed it out. It's still pretty, but now it's a lot more mixed than what it was. There aren't very many cells in here like I was going for, but I figured out that I needed to do a lot more oil, which over here on the pour that I did, I can see a few more. I'll continue working on that to get that. That's a good spot right there of all the cells. And right there's where I touched it. I'm so mad at myself. So now I'm gonna have to find a vinyl decal or something to go there. I'm so irritated. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm sorry this isn't on the tripod like normal. This was just a, I want to show you this, don't do this moment. We are nice and dry now. So now is when you can peel it and place it on whatever you're going to place it on. Whether you cut it up and put it in little um, locket, pendant, earrings, whatever. 
Now's the time you can cut whatever sizes you want and put it in there and then epoxy over it, whatever. So I've actually gone ahead and started right here just so I wouldn't tear this trying to get it started. And then you just very carefully peel it up. You don't want to pull on it real hard because you'll stretch it and you'll kind of warp it. But just kind of work it off of there and then use it for whatever. I'm going to try and put as much of this on a tumbler as I can get to fit. So that will be a completely different video. So yeah, definitely not an expert. I definitely need a lot more practice, but as a newbie at that, that's not so bad. Don't touch it when it's wet. <laughs> that's my biggest piece of advice. I'm so irritated with myself with that, but that's it. If you have any questions, comments, you can leave it in the comment section. I will do my best to answer. I'm new at this. This is only my second pour here. And then I did that canvas that I mentioned and showed you guys earlier. But uh, yeah, that's it. On my next one, I'll definitely have a lot more of the silicone oil because I definitely want a lot more cells than what I got. I definitely got uh, kind of skimped out on that just here and there. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last upload. And uh, thanks for hanging around. Have a good one.